we just got a 3D printer. Oh boy. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And uh, I got some buddies here. These are my my three little Padawans. You can check us out also on Jedi Toy Masters. That's uh, another channel that we do, so check it out. But here, we did something that we've been wanting to do for a long time, and that is to get a 3D printer. I mean, I've always wanted to get a 3D printer ever since I've been um, kind of seeing people do it, get into that, into that thing, into that 3D printing uh, culture. And these guys, uh, you know, through school and, and like YouTube videos that they have been, they've seen, have been very much like into 3D printing and wanting to get a 3D printer. So they saved up, right guys? They saved up, they did a great job saving up and um, we were able to uh, raise up enough money to buy one. And in doing all my research on 3D printing, we came to the conclusion, or I came to the conclusion that our best bet was to go with this guy right here, and it's the Bamboo Labs A1. Um, everything from reliability to all the reviews that I watched online, um, to even just the fact that uh, just just the, the the aesthetics of the machine, and that almost every person, everyone that I seen on YouTube that does a lot of 3D printing and has multiple 3D printers in their arsenal, there's a Bamboo Labs 3D printer. So decided to do, this would be a great start for us. Plus the bed size is 256 squared, which is a little bit bigger than the average 3D printer, which is usually 220 squared or 220 by 220 by 250 or whatever. This is a little bit bigger. So we can print full size helmets on this. Mandalorian helmets, maybe an Iron Man helmet, and definitely we'll be able to tinker with it. So enough talking. We're gonna open this bad boy up, set it up. You're gonna come with us on this journey because we know nothing about 3D printers uh, and we're gonna see how it goes. So we picked this guy up from Micro Center. So shout out to Micro Center. They, they didn't sponsor us or anything, but it's a great place. The salesperson there helped me out and he even uh, recommended some of this um, filament. This is the Inland, Inland filament. Uh, this is PLA Plus. So we got black, we got gray and uh we're gonna figure out how this works so let's do it so this here's the top of the box right there uh we already took that out that has the base plate on it and the instruction manual so here's the tools and a bunch of and then underneath there's the cable and underneath this will be the uh so let's take, and there it is, there it is. So we're gonna put it on the table and uh, try to put it together. When you, uh, when you scan the QR code on the box, it brings you to this page and it's like step-by-step -step photos of how to put it together. So we're gonna try to follow. Like the practice kind of Follow the instructions back. here. It's like a little, it's like one of those pullbacks. We just put, installed this guy, plugged in these. This, this wire was wrapped over here with this tape. You just kind of route it in there through this i mean everything's very well designed very intuitive i mean we we're following along with the instructions but it's pretty intuitive these guys can are figuring it out at the, at the same time that i'm looking at the instructions they're figuring it out so look how clean it is no touch marks don't on touch it, it. <laughs> All right, so we're done putting it together and we're gonna fire it up. I just downloaded the app and created an account. So now we are officially firing it up. It's on. And um, it starts. We got the film, man. It starts. So that's what it's saying. It's gonna do a whole calibration. So I put it on this side of the table so that we can kind of leave it alone and let it do its thing. And so here we go. Mm -hmm. 
All right, it's downloading the boat model that we're gonna build, and it's set. It's gonna go right now. It's gonna do its thing. Oh, there's there's stuff. I see it. Guys, look, it's 3D print. It's stuff. Finished it, printing complete. Four hours, 56 minutes. Wow. Look at that thing. It's so cool. Can we take it out? All right. We got it. Whoa. Is it warm? Mm -hmm. Now we have to take out this. Yeah. It's going to be hard. So there it is. Yeah. This is the little motor that it came with. It was. Came with this little uh, this little motorboat, mo uh, the little engine, the little boy model component kit. It's what it's called here, but it's basically you go look for you you scan the QR code that's on the bottom. It brings you to the app, and then you're able to pick whatever boat that's listed on there. So we picked this one, and it had a little wheel that we attached in there. You saw it, you saw it come off, and uh, you attached a little boat there. And like this thing is. This thing is amazing. Obviously it took a long time to print, but like all we did was hit three buttons, bloop, bloop, bloop on the app and then hit print. And it just start. it just did its thing. There was no like major adjustments that it had to do. It just, I mean, this is our first 3D print ever in our house on this thing. Um, and it was really good. It was really good. Look like the detail on the bottom, like, it's got some heft to it. It's really strong. Made a little thing like the this PLA it. plus filament is really nice. Like the detail. I mean, I don't know if you can just really see the detail on this. It's like lines. I mean, the detail on this is just so nice. And wait until we make a Mandalorian. Mask. Oh man, we're going to make Mandalorian helmets. Logan's on the iPad through going through the app of all the other ready-made projects that you can print. What do you think? I like it. You like it? All right, we're going to go outside and see if it floats. In the meantime, you can hit the like button, subscribe, check out some of our other videos and stuff like that. But let's go see if it floats. I'm going to want it to float away. That's that good, but it's good. We like it. Let's go on the Very cool, guys. I think that's a success. That is a successful 3D print. Bamboo Labs A1. I'm no 3D printer expert. Um, I just did a lot of research on YouTube and asked a lot of folks that have 3D printers what their thoughts were. I got a lot of recommendations. I mean, I had recommendations that's everywhere from Creality to uh, Ambernick, I think was one of the brands if I'm not mistaken. Time and time again, I kept seeing that Bamboo Labs printers were very reliable, very good right out of the box and easy to use. My boys printed their first, we printed our first 3D print and they are in the pool playing with it. How cool is that? We just created a toy that we can play with on our 3D printer. Super psyched about that. So I can't wait to see what else we can come up with. So stay tuned. In the meantime, uh, Bamboo Labs, I mean, again, this is not a sponsored video. They didn't, I bought this uh, at Micro Center. They did a great, they, they had uh, had it in stock, 
salespeople were really uh, friendly and they recommended filament for it and then kind of walked me through the process of like, you know, kind of telling me about different filaments and, you know, you know what to use to start out with and all that. So it, it, this is awesome. So anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. And if you don't have a 3D printer, Bamboo Labs A1. I think it's it's a great printer. And if you want something even smaller and even more affordable, get the A1 Mini because it's it's smaller. You can still print. We could have probably printed that on the Mini and you can print a bunch of other little things on the Mini. And it's small desktop, tabletop uh, version of this one. It's like just, it's a shrunken down version of this one. I think the Mini came out first and then the A1, uh, they just made it bigger and voila, we have this one. It's the same printing surface as all the other Bamboo Labs printers, the bigger ones. Um, so it's the same printing surface. So anything you can print on the other ones, I'm assuming we can print on this. So uh, I'm psyched. I can't wait to print a Mandalorian helmet. I'm probably going to do that on Jedi Toy Masters. Uh, that's our other channel. So check that out. Stay tuned for that. Check out some of our videos here. And I'm going to go put my bathing suit on and go play with our little toy boat.